welcome bad bird clive robert how you doing guys we're back accounts number five and six in rookie for the day the last uh, accounts before i publish the guides welcome back the king and solace clive you dropped hole five twice that is fantastic well done robert you came up short that's unlucky did you line it up correctly welcome emma doctor sorry dr spring welcome and scott welcome back my friend all right let's see if we can figure out the few holes we have not figured out yet uh, even though we're playing lower rookies it should no have no incidents on on uh, how we go about this you know welcome kevin kb chef is here so nice to see you kevin so what we're gonna do here is just smash it down between the bunkers giving us enough room for error that's the thing you know get it down there push back up into max go full overpower great left great right will always be fine but it will depend on the second shot anyway So this time we hit perfect a great left will end up closer to the hole a great right will end up further away from the hole and let's see what we can do here with a perfect um, we can agree on the elevation well elevation the shot adjustment needed for the second shot it is 30 percent that's how we dropped it rupin welcome back and galink welcome back so nice to see all of you come back over and over again i really appreciate it guys you want the Albi dance? I had an Albi dance in the previous stream. Only one. But it was fun. <laughs> Not that many Albies coming up this week, but we should get a few in. So they actually mean something, you know. It's not like a dialed in Albi we're gonna drop all the time, but definitely hole six give us gives us a very good chance. That's all we can ask for, you know. And if we get super lucky, we can drop nine. Three, we will never drop. Just not dropping, not the way that we play it, but I'll take the easy eagle that'll, that it'll give me. I think eagle is fantastic on hole number three. And here we go. We're going to go uh, just four back. No side spin. Line it up at the hole. Straight at the hole here. And now we adjust max plus 30. 2.2 rings and we hit great left and that's not how we're gonna sink it ah uh, you know it you know it you know it perfect would have been in ah but we've got it we've got it i don't need to change anything in the guides for that hole It'll work out. Still, you know, it's not the easiest of drops, obviously, but it can happen. It's all we have, you know, all we can do. Jack, can we play hole nine with a Titan, an extra Mars seven, or Apoc three, and a big dog six? You can definitely play with a Titan, uh, but not the approach I'm taking. So if you're playing, I mean, extra Mars six or seven is going to be the same. There's no. You have no distance advantage with an EM7, but an APOC 3, I would choose that. I think that gives you more topspin. Let me just check. Uh, 7 is 234 yards, and an APOC 3 is. Um, let me just put this. APOC 3 is 231 yards, but 64 topspin. So I believe it's, it's probably better you play with the APOC 3. Play with the APOC 3, get enough distance, and then you can reach with the big dog, but your aim is not to play with the secondary rough bump, but just get it to green somehow, you know. You found a way you can shoot Albi on 3. Well, let's hear it, Robert. Uh, Robert. Let's hear it. I'm all for that. Welcome, get a header. Yes, I can hear you. 
You're never late. You're never late. Come on, man. <laughs> so we're going to use Navigator here for the rough bump. Max plus 10. Uh, 2.8 back, 0.5 to the right. Line it up just right of the flag stick is what we're gonna do. Well, let's hear it, Robert. How are you gonna get uh, an easy shot for Albi? Or how are you gonna have a shot for Albi? That's leaving us with an easy, easy eagle. I hope it's not with a Zerk. Come on. So we use Navigator 2.8 back, 0.5 to the right. Welcome, DJ Jacob. Welcome, my friend. How you doing? Thank you for the good luck. I wish all of you the same. Oh, very nice. Nice shot right there. Well played. Well played. Can we uh, do the same here? So 0 0.5 to the right, 2.8 back. Come on. Here we go. Line it up. Such a little through the hole. Left edge, uh, right edge of the flag stick. Max plus 10 uh, is going to be 4.3 rings. Let's see. That should go in as well. Ooh, that was close. That was close. But it's in. In is in. <coughs> oh, with the Zerk. Okay. Oh, yeah, you can. With the Zerk, you can definitely bounce over with backspin. Yes, absolutely, Robert. You're right. I'm gonna forfeit this. Good luck. Miri. Thank you for the booms, guys. Thank you so much. And we're on to the next one. And for that, we'll use our big dog rough bump bag. A uh, sand bump bag. Big topper, big dog, and a titan. That's it. That's what we're gonna play. I don't wanna spend too many zerks here. Welcome, John. Welcome back. Thank you so much for the good luck. Let's try this a few more times. I really like the shot. Um, it's easy on the balls if you only use a Titan. But yeah, if you want to use a Zerk here, I'd rather spend my Zerk on hole 9. I think it's more necessary. And if you have plenty of Zerks, you know, spend them. If you're buying the new ball pack, you can spend them here. Perfect uh, time to spend it. No way, Kevin, you forgot to play the golden shot. I feel you. Happened to me as well. From time to time. The, not this time, though. I think the, the, the one before. Forgot to play it. Wasn't playing it early in the week, and then it was Monday, and I forgot about it. Yep. Happens sometimes, you know. Gotta plug in my phone, though. Here we go. Let's just go max topspin here, and that is good wind, very good wind. We had a 2.3 wind, and that is less fun, because we do get fewer yards. I'm going to use a little curl as well, just to increase a little distance. And that should be perfect distance. We can go for the uh, big dog sand bump now. Should be, what, 414, something like that. Come on, 414. 430. What? Oh, maybe it was 414 with the... No, 430 is insane, though. That's right, Sub Rock. We've been uh, saying earlier on stream, it is Rockwood's birthday stream. He's streaming right now. If you uh, 
Not sub to Rock yet, please drop by. Help him break the 500 right now on his birthday stream. That would be an awesome birthday gift, I suppose. You know, go out, go over there, give him a sub, wish him a happy birthday. Because he's a good guy. And maybe you'll find a, another streamer you might want to follow because, you know, always fun to watch. What else do you want? That is true, Robert. Whatever you can do to make it easiest for yourself. Always. That's how you win. Um, okay. We have way too much distance here. Could I actually go for a backspin shot? Uh, no, I'm going to go for my sand bump here. For that, I'll line it up all the way here at the top of the sand. For it to roll out, max plus 10 uh, a ring. We need to catch the top of the bunker. Just hop out. Let's see. Oh, come on. No, that's gonna jump over, is it? It's jump. Did not expect that. Did not expect it to jump over. Not with that wind, not that low wind. Exactly, that's right. He's gonna do a giveaway. So that's the only problem with this shot. At, uh, sometimes you're just gonna bounce over. When we're playing it, you know, too close. Too close. When we get too greedy. Welcome, Radu, my friend. How you doing? So no need to, to, to panic just yet because uh, we can absolutely save this. We can save it if we get stuck in the sand. We can save it if we are uh, overshooting it and uh, end up in the rough. As long as we hit perfect, that is. And that is why we have the razor. Oh, come on. What's, what's up with that? Really? It's been fine all day. Oh, you're joking, right? All right, let's focus on this. to hit perfect we need to hit perfect oh my crap oh Robert I do but I don't I'm not gonna spend a zerk that's that's all you know that's why I play it the way I play it because I want to save my zerks so yeah if you want to spend a zerk please do happening here I mean usually we, we should save this nine out of ten times it's not a not the toughest of saves well we didn't now you know <laughs> Fredo Lee welcome back my friend thank you for the good luck danke dir Fredo On to the next one. It's okay. We messed this one up, but you know, it'll happen from time to time. I'm not gonna force anyone to play this shot, but if you don't want to spend a Zerk, that is your best bet. It's very tricky to get around the green because if you're stuck up there and you have to, you know, save it from uh, up the right or up the left, it's a very, very tricky shot. A very tricky save whereas the save here from the sand or from the rough is always gonna be easy easy enough no Keith you got a power on five what happened did you hit the water or did you get stuck in the rough
get ahead of with the uh, Godfather quotes. <laughs> in the bunker, Keith, unlucky, yeah. If you're stuck in the bunker, that's an ugly recovery shot. Um, I don't think I could have because um, I would have needed overpower. That's the thing. When we cleared the bunker there, uh, Robert, we... Um, when we cleared the bunker, I ha I was on, on top spin. So I would have needed to use overpower and backspin and I was not prepared to do that. And as always, you know, I try to play the same shot with all my accounts, always. Ah, oh, great lift. Uh, it's not gonna hurt us too much. Ah, you missed the Nirvana. Should have packed the Razor. Yeah, pack the Razor, guys. If you don't have a high-level Nirvana, which we usually we don't in Rookie, and you have a Razor, use it. You don't need a distance for your saves here. Unless uh, you're on the par fives, but if you're in the rough, no uh, rough iron will help you either, so it's no big deal. Yes, Radu, rough bump time. That is right. Plenty of fun rough bumps. We're gonna play rough bump on uh, two. We're gonna play rough bump on no sand bump on three. Rough bump on four. Rough bump on five. Rough bump on six. Uh, rough bump on seven. And secondary rough bump on 9. I'm gonna play minus 10. Yes, we do. Mid minus 10 is what I play. Uh, we have different distance here though. No, mid minus 10 is still gonna be fine. So I'm gonna use one back, one right. There we go. Mid minus 10. So 2.6 rings. Come on, let's see if this works out. Mm, yes, it is. Bam. Here we go. Mid minus 10, it is. I just wanted to drop it because of my opponent's antics there. Here we go. Made up for the mistake. Good luck, David. Oh, for the weekend round, Robert. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we could always spend uh, Zerks in the weekend round if we're in contention, for sure. Absolutely. It's just the thing, you know. Um, it's a lot of Zerks. If we have two holes, we're going to need 10 Zerks throughout the week. And I want to cut down on that. So we're going to switch to the quarterback bag, which we'll need for the next few holes. I'm going to play a Navigator here for the rough bump. So I don't need the quarterback here. It's just that um, we'll need it for the next one. We'll play sniper here. Max plus 10. I go first, two back. No side spin. Oh no, no. The sniper six has less distance. Crap. So I will go to a power. Yeah, I need a power two ball here with the sniper. Gonna line it up uh, right edge of the pin. 3.2 rings. Okay, sniper six, power two ball. And that's good to know. I have to put that in the guides. And then it is barely in, but in is in. <laughs> nice. I'm just gonna make a note of this if I find my pencil or a pen. Sniper, 5-6, Katana. 
Hey, Papa Smurf. Welcome, my friend. Thank you so much for the good luck. Jason McGuire. Jason McGuire is here, indeed. Show me the money. That's right. Get a header. Thank you all for the booms. Welcome, cookies. How you doing? Killing it, except for hole three, right? But everything else is pretty much dialed in. I'm, I'm very happy with that. So knowing that we have less distance with the Sniper 6, I, I... Do we really have less distance with the Sniper 6? Well, we must have. It's probably just two yards, right? Yeah, two yards. And those two yards are making all the difference. That means I also need a little bit more distance on hole number six, which has come... Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. Oh my goodness. That was close. Michael Rookley just home from work. Thank you for the good luck. A big R. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, you went there on roll all three. Good, good one to miss, Radu. Good one to miss. Yes, there was an island there. It's gone. It's gone, but therefore the rough bump is more accessible. I'm gonna play a Quasar here. I'm gonna stick with the power one ball. And I'm gonna use two top spin instead of one. Because I need a little bit more distance for my sniper six. So that's a good thing. We just found that out. On hole number five. Otherwise, I would have played the same with one top and three uh, and two right. So I'm going to use two top and uh, two right. We're going to set it up right here. Near the top, near that shadow right there. Ball guideline about uh, one third down that bush. Max overpower. Max right curl. And then we're gonna slice it. And hopefully get good yardage. So I can get there with my sniper six. And that is the plan. And that should be good yardage. Um, 327 might be a bit too long. I'm aiming for like 10 yards less. The problem here being that I'm now not in max distance of my club. So I suggest you'll just go one and a half top. 1.5 top spin with a sniper six. Uh, that's what we're gonna try. So we have Aka Heron coming up, so we can give it a try with these adjustments with the sniper six, which is gonna be the same as the sniper five. If you have a sniper four, tough luck. Ooh, that's not gonna be good. That's not gonna be good. He did not mean to slice it. Now let's see. Ah, this is not good, not good. Because we won't just we just don't have enough top spin probably. So what I'm gonna do is go with left spin. So we can line it up further up here, uh, as you can see. You know. That's why we have more rough to play with there. So max plus ah, this is bad. The problem is well, I'm gonna line this up now, uh, what? Mid plus 10. And use some right curl. Just a little bit. Hopefully that's enough to stay away from the trees. Yeah, uh, that's a problem. I had too much distance. I could not get enough power transfer to the top spin because of the mid distance um, club I really want to be in max distance of the uh, of the sniper oh Fredo okay so get us says Fredo uh, Whipped everybody's buttocks in, in your tournament. What tournament was that? So just an eagle here. It's okay. Problem of sniper six versus seven. I had to change it up. So also Fredo hat gesagt, du hast das gecrushed in dem letzten Turnier, dem Freundschaftsturnier.
Yes, it is, Jack. It must uh, have. It must be shorter, um, because we were playing quarterback for uh, over the island. So and now we're reaching power one ball and sniper. So yeah, it's shorter. On to the next one. Quarterback and uh, Quasar as well. So after this, I'm going to take a slightly longer break because I just seen my family's back and my kids have been on a sleepover for three nights. I haven't seen them since Friday. So I need to welcome them uh, properly, obviously. Should have been just a sleepover for one night, but then they wanted two nights and then they wanted three nights and uh, now they're back. I'm glad they did want to come back eventually. Okay, on to the next one, hole number seven. Keeping the same bag. We're gonna go over the right hand side. Just knowing that I have a sniper six, I want to um, just have a few extra yards, two extra yards. So instead of going three back, I'll go two and a half back. Because I want to get in sniper distance, gotta try something. Good afternoon, Archer. How are you doing? Oh, I was thinking about that, Radu. I was just thinking about it. Do you speak German, Radu? And then I thought, nah, that sounds like uh, Google Translate. <laughs> so here we're gonna go quarterback power one ball we're gonna go over the right pretty easy drive nothing can go wrong it's the easier route if you have low level clubs go right not a difficult one as you can see we are nowhere near uh, max distance of our club. You'll see that in just a second. Oh, we need to buy quasars. Uh, no, that's the worst. Don't buy a single ball. Crap. That's a waste. Um, I'm gonna use one to the right. Usually I use uh, two back, but I'll just use uh, three back, but I'll use two and a half back. Just uh, because I want to have two extra yards, you know. Oh, come on, max plus 10, 2.8 here with this. I... Annoying. What's up with all these disconnects? I know, I know. It must be my connection, guys. Okay, here we go. That's good. McDilson, welcome back, my friend. So do we get the extra two yards? Yes. I was looking at 245, we are now at 248, which is perfect. It'll make up for the extra two yards, for the uh, two yards less I have with my Sniper 6 compared to my Sniper 7. Uh, I know it's not my connection, Vadu, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I have a pretty solid connection and I'm gonna get an even better one in, uh, in the new house. So the next tourney I'll be streaming will be from the new house and I'll have an awesome connection there of one gigabit per second. That'll do the trick. Welcome Nick Buckingham. How you doing my friend? M Jacksonian, welcome back. And Albi, very nice, very nice Albi in pro, well done. Wally Lapointe, welcome my friend. Okay, we're gonna play the rough bump here. Four back, two to the right. And we're gonna switch it up a little, just a little bit. Switch it up, switch it up. I'm gonna line it up here. Bottom edge of the hole. Let's try this with a max plus 40, which is gonna be 5.1 rings. Let's see if that'll help. We hit perfect, so we'll know if that is a good uh, adjustment right there. Because we've always been missing it high above the hole. We get a different angle this time. Go on, go in the hole. No, no! 
Okay, so this time it goes exactly where I aim, but when I aim straight in the straight into the hole, we miss right. That's annoying. <laughs> That's annoying. Almost had some hopes here. With the new angle coming in. What are we to do? What are we to do? Anyway, on to hole number... Eight. I'm gonna keep the same bag. Quasar, Sniper. Max plus ten. This is the hole we're gonna play, but not now. Not now. Well, good luck, guest. Two, four, eight, eight, six, eight, four. On to the next one. Not a bad round. Not a bad round, especially if we can finally ace this one. Let's ace it. Let's ace it. Uh, you play the same as me. You came right. Uh, did you have the right yardage for the drive, Robert? Did you play it exactly the same? Because that only works with a mid minus 10 adjustment right there. If you're too far down, you need to uh, take that into account. Okay, problem here is uh, the lack of ball guideline. Let me just check here. So max left, that smidge of top here. And that should be around it. I, I, I focus on the landing spot here, landing position of my Sniper 7. And let's see if that works out. Great right is not working out. Crap. Oh, and that's going to be rough. Oh, I got lucky. I got lucky it rolled out. Quarter wreck rough bump with katana Ravi. Interesting as well. Definitely an option with the sniper seven uh, sixes and less. Sniper seven, this is pretty much money. I've been playing uh Have I played the rough bump in the past? I think I have. I need to check my notes. Well, no big deal. If we're on track for another 14 under with a blunder on three, I'll take it. I'll take it. So hole number nine coming up, the one where I will spend a Zerk. Oh, Danny dropped it with the QB rough bump. Very nice. All right, let's save this one first. Go straight at the hole. We got lucky. We just rolled out of the rough and can save this. Three forty-four. That's a bit long, Robert. I'm looking at three thirty-five. Yes, Geta, they are like a globe ball with more side spin. And that is why. If you want to spend money on the game, this is it. Haha, <laughs> Nick Buckingham. Yeah, we pipped Nick. I didn't even know it was Nick. He messaged me later that Aquaman, if you can remember when we pipped him in the weekend round, that was Mr. Nick Buckingham. He finished second, we finished first. <laughs> and I didn't even know it during the stream. <coughs> Nick didn't say anything either. <laughs> Hello, Kunor. Thank you so much for the good luck. Oh my goodness. Oh, unlucky there. All right, we messed this one up. Still a birdie. And if we make an eagle now, we're going to get to a 14 under. And I'm going to be happy with that, especially on a Monday. 
So 15 under is going to be in the cards. Easy peasy. 16 under should be possible, you know, once we play better. <laughs> so big topper, Horizon. Even though it's only Horizon 2, uh, yeah, that'll do. Always better than the big dog here. Ball guideline for the secondary rough bump coming up. What uh, big topper do we have? Doesn't really matter. Any big topper will do. Am I still around? Very nice. Lovely. We go first. We will adjust max plus 10. As you will see, we'll use some side spin to the left. Want to stay away from the trees. It's about a 1.3 adjustment. So what we'll do is we adjust for the wind. We'll push back up into max and use overpower about this much. Ah, oh, that's a bad, great. I should have let the needle spin another turn. It'll be fine. We're just a bit too far to the left, making the sh second shot longer, but it's okay. Better great left than great right. There is Stefan van der Bielen. Welcome, my friend. <laughs> He's in Luxembourg right now, I told you this morning. And watching me from the camping, very nice. And you drink a Bofording, well deserved, well deserved. I hope you enjoy it. Did you go to the Mullertal uh, this morning for the hike? Also called Little Switzerland, the area around the Mullertal where Stefan was hiking today. <laughs> Buying the Benson Super Chat. It's gonna be uh, a good day for YouTube, Geta. I mean, th them taking 30% and all. It's an ugly looking ball, but it doesn't matter, Geta. It's, uh, it's a very uh, useful ball. That's all that uh, matters, really. Okay, here we go. The second shot is the crucial one. The secondary rough bump. Can we make an LB here? Yes. Do we require some luck? Yes. Can we hit great right? No. But at least, you know, I'm going to do it, everything I can to give myself a shot here. Um, yeah. This. I'm going to have to go max top here. And I need about three rings of overpower. Line it up here. So I'm gonna adjust here um, one and a half rings for the wind. We gotta push it up into max, which is a bit more than a ring. And I need another two rings of overpower, which is no fun with this shot. At least we hit perfect. So if you have a, a better big, uh, a better horizon, you don't need overpower. Ah, crap. Should have uh, used a little more overpower, but um, it's a safe eagle. We'll take it. Thank you, Solis. Oh, the hike to the waterfall is nice. Yeah, the young kids, you know, you've got to take one step at a time for sure. Oh, Beardorf, nice. Yeah. There's also a, a, an amazing camping in Berdorf if you ever get the chance to go there. That's uh, really the area in Luxembourg most uh, well known for its hiking trails. Well, I'll take my uh, I'll take my easy eagle here for the win, I suppose. Maybe I should use a big dog instead of the horizon here. I don't need to overpower that. I stayed clear of the big dog because of the ball guideline, but horizon 2. Let me just check if horizon 3 has a better, uh, has more yardage. Yeah, it does. Two more, two extra yards. That could do the trick right there. Two extra yards with the horizon 3. That'll do it. 
And you know how many cards I'm away from a uh, Horizon 3? Take a guess, how many cards am I away from a Horizon 3? Who is the first one to get it right? Yes, Radu, that's right. One. I mean, yeah. Thank you, guys. <laughs> the way I asked the question, it was an obvious answer, right? <laughs> one in a year. <laughs> that's a good answer, McDilson. Nice. Ricardo, welcome, my friend. How you doing? So I want that one card before the opening round. Oh, very nice. Stefan, you enjoy your barbecue, my friend, and enjoy the Luxembourgish beers. 14 under, nothing to sneeze at, guys. I'm happy with that. Especially with the blunder on three. So we can, I mean, if we can shoot 15 under with Jemima, we can shoot 15 under with anyone. Here we go. I, I checked the shop. It's not in the shop. It's not, but I will spend 100 uh, gems if it pops up, right? Okay, good one. I'll take it. I'll take a short break. Maybe a little longer than usual because, I, as I just said earlier, the kids came home after a three nights sleepover and I want to, you know, just not say hi and bye. So I'll take a few more minutes than usual. I'll be back with Akka Heron. Seeing you uh, very soon.
I'm back. And I'm not happy. Oh, I'm pissed off. Let's see how this round goes. Oh my goodness. I shouldn't play angry. <sighs> okay. Akahara next. I'll tell you in a second what happened. First of all, we need to set up the bags. Hey! Ah, uh, playing mad is not good. No, it isn't. And I, I should get over it pretty... I mean, it's it's nothing I can change anyway. So, um... Just annoying. Oh, okay. oh we get right... Uh, to beginner. That's crap. Doesn't really matter. Oh, no, no, no. It's it's gonna be okay. I need to get the guides out. You know, I need to get the guides out. Select a rookie. Let's go. And then I need to set the bags up. So what happened is, my wife just told me that... Uh, well, you know, we, we uh, called um, the moving company, you know, and they said, yeah, we're gonna, uh, we're free, 1st and 2nd of September, we're gonna block the dates. They came by, you know, had a look at everything. Uh, they sent us the, uh, the estimate and it was fine. I mean, and we, uh, so today we said, yeah, we're gonna uh, take the estimate, uh, we're gonna, um, Accept the estimate you sent us. And then they said, okay, so we're going to move uh, 8th and 9th of September. I said, no, we agreed on 1st and 2nd of September. Uh, you even said you'd block the dates. And they said, uh, okay, let me check. And they checked. And yeah, they did say 1st and 2nd. But somehow they haven't locked in the dates and somebody else just gave them away. So, <laughs> you know. So now we are trying to find somebody else to move uh, on 1st and 2nd of September. It's just so annoying that they uh, did it that way. So they, they apologized, said it was their fault, but it's not going to help me much, right? It's not going to help me when they don't have the time. So that's why I'm pissed off, guys. Nothing important. It's just annoying, that's all. So that's the bag right here. This bag is fine as well. And for this bag, we need to set this one up. Give me just a second. Uh, so we'll use here the big topper and the horizon. Big topper, horizon four. The long iron, we'll use the backbone. We're not playing with um, long irons. We're gonna use our thorn and we're gonna use our uh, Endbringer, sure, why not? We're gonna use our razor and we're gonna use our Malibu. Here we go, that's it. Those are the bags. I'm all set. Oh, what's happening now? What did I do now? I messed up bag number one. How did I mess that one up? Okay, extra mile five, sniper six. Everything else is fine. Okay, we're done. We're good. Here we go. Yeah, Solis, you know, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Very annoying, all. Very annoying. I mean, we. What more do you need? And we, my wife asked, you know, what, what could we have done? And he said, nothing, it's our fault, but, you know. Yeah, you want to do that for free, uh, McDilson? Uh, that's a lot of stuff we need to uh, move, including a piano. Uh, it's not going to be fun. From one house in three stories to another house in three stories. So, um, 
That's why we want to use a moving company. I'm too old to do that shit by myself. And welcome back, Nicholas K. <laughs> so they said the statement. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, exactly, Scott. Yeah. Uh, I felt we had done everything we needed to do, and we did. What are you gonna do? It's a mistake on their part, and um, <sighs> just annoying. So I'm not. I'm not. You know. I was just mad because my wife just told me that while I was on break and that's why I was like, oh, come on, are you kidding me? So yeah, we can get over here with the XML5 as we said earlier. That will be fine, line it up in between the bunkers, even though we have little wind. It won't matter, it is enough. As long as it's tailwind, we'll get over with XML5. But obviously, max overpower. Here we go. Oh, yeah, Nicholas. I mean, the major, um, if it had been the next one, I mean, the next one I'm, I'll be skipping. We will we'll be moving the week of September 1st. And um, I cannot. I mean, that week is going to be a lot of work. And I will not be able to provide guides. If I get lucky, I can, you know, stream a few rounds just for fun. But definitely no time for the guides. So I'm glad the Major is this week and not the next one. Eleven goals, right, Nicholas. Not saying it's impossible, but we need to run really good for that. I'm happy. Uh... If I get one gold, I'm happy, you know. We're not guaranteed golds all the time. No matter how good you play, you know, there's always going to be someone who might get super lucky, have the round of his life. Uh, just like, you know, with Bill last turn, he shot my best round, 33 under. Only good enough for the silver. So I'm glad the others held up. But if that's your only account, you shoot a 33 and somebody snitch snatches away the silver, uh, the gold. Tough luck. Oh, yeah, I should have. Oh, crap. I should have used the Goliath here. Um, okay, I've got to line it up here. I need about four bars of overpower. I'm going to adjust max plus 30, which is 2.6 rings. I'm going to push up into max and use overpower here that is not ideal I have to put that in the guide if you have an extra mod 5 if you have an extra mod 5 use a uh, goliath so you won't be in between clubs that's gonna be way hot way hot but uh, yeah that's what happens uh, we should put the goliath in the back here I'm gonna write that down. Hole number one. EM5. Goliath for sure. Uh, yeah, McDilson. Yeah, the problem is uh, the guys who are who bought our house, you know, they don't want any, any furniture, furniture in here. <laughs> the house needs to be empty for them. But also, um, oh, great left, but it's an end bringer, so it should be fine. And also the, the piano belonged to my wife's grandmother, so she's attached to that. <laughs> Guitar, bass and drums is okay, says Mikkels. Oh, I don't know if we're going to get minimum three, Nicholas. It's a tough ask. Uh, it's not that easy. I'm going to... Uh... Oh, for sure. Yeah, I played on to a nine, Nicholas. I did play. Uh, and if you get an ugly win, I don't know what pro wins are, but I believe they're not as tough as in tour play. High fine round scores, uh, 31. Uh, we'll see better, Jack Sonian. We'll see better for sure. 
Uh, I intend to play better than that. I'm I'm aiming for 32 come weekend round. That's what what I want. Uh, we can even play better than that. Definitely uh, drops to be had, but we need to play perfectly. And that's always the trick, right? That's always the trick. Knowing what we can shoot and seeing what we actually shoot. Two completely different things, right? We can have drops for every single hole. Does not mean we're gonna get a 36 under. Oh, come on. Uh, okay. Really problems here with the connection. So the rough bump we're gonna play, you can play it with a uh, sniper, a lower level sniper or a viper as well. Oh, uh, Scott, you'll see. Um, there will be some crazy scores for sure. I mean, the fact that we can uh, shoot 15 under or 16 under in uh, Monday qualifying, I don't think it's gonna be uh, tough for some people to uh, go even lower. 2.8 back, 0.5 to the right. Line it up right there, a little through the hole. Gonna line it up with the uh, ball guideline touching the right edge of the flag stick. M max plus 10, three and a half. Let's just go max plus 15. Max plus 15 will go uh, moving forward. We just missed it too often. So the only thing is, if we're gonna push over the yellow, we need to play um, take point two off. So max plus 10, pushing over the yellow, max plus 15 uh, when going for it. I mean, we've sunk it, but really depends on when here. So I think max plus 15 is probably the safer choice, which is point two rings more. Annoying. Oh my goodness, he can't even make the putt. No biggie, good to know. Max plus 15 it is. Alright, next hole. We're gonna play Big Topper and Big Dog. Hahaha. <laughs> That's so nice of you, McDillson. Thank you so much. Okay, on to the next one. Not the start we want, but it's okay. It's Aka Heron. We want to try out some stuff. Especially uh, how to adjust for lower level snipers. Welcome back, Max. Quick, how you doing, my friend? Thank you for all the good luck. Not the best start. Birdie, birdie. Burning the left edge of the cup on hole number two. Not gonna make that mistake again. So what we're gonna do here is just go max top. Send it. Good wind. Use some curl to the right as well. And just hammer it down there. Hammerhead 3 is not a club I have uh, on many accounts, M. Jacksonian. But yeah, if you don't have a high level sniper or if you only have a viper, but you have a hammerhead, use that. That's a good, uh, good tip, I'm Jack I'm Jacksonian. Uh, no, Nicholas, I dropped an Albi earlier today. Hole number six is where it's at. Hole number six is your best shot at the Albi. That is repeatable. Crack it, crack. That's not gonna be enough. Okay, we'll go for the uh, 
Yeah, exactly, Ravi. Hole six is Albi. That's where we're gonna make our Albies. I'm gonna go max top spin here. Okay. I need about uh, three and a half rings. I'm gonna adjust max plus 15. 1.7. Push back into max. This is about one and a half, so I need about a, a ring and a half of overpower, two rings of overpower. Uh, let's see, we want to clip the end of the sand so that it jumps out. Nah, not enough overpower there. So the drive was short. Oh, I have a big top of three. I have a big top of three here that has less distance. That is the problem. That is why we were so short. We're lacking eight yards. You're scared of the sand bump? Don't be, M. Jacksonian. It's not that, bi uh, not that bad. Yeah, I, I made a mistake here. I didn't look at my yardage. And Big Top of Three is definitely having uh, distance troubles. It's no big deal. From where we are, we can still save it easily enough. It's easier to save from here, from the sand, than from uh, the fairway, left and right of the uh, of the of the green. You know, it's an easy enough uh, drop here. We just need to hit perfect, and then it's gonna go in. I'm gonna make eagle, right? So no big deal. Yes. <laughs> Well, that's it. That's how we play it. And that's why I like the shot. It's safe, easy recovery shot. Well, easy enough, you know. Such a short shot there. On to hole number four. Right, we're gonna win uh, this one. Let's drop the next one. Crucial, crucial hole coming up. Ducky quack, yeah, that was never gonna be an eagle. On to the next one, hole number one. We're gonna use extra mod five. We're gonna have the sniper. We're gonna use a quasar. All good. Thank you, Seth, for the booms, for the save. It's always good to get it. So all good. Four under through three. We can we can live with that, you know. So three top, two to the right. Um, I think I go. I'll go uh, three and a half top here with the XMR five. Let's see if that is correct. One point nine. Rings, max plus 10. Let's see if the yardage is going to be a good one. 335 is what we're looking for. 335 to max of 340. Thank you, Michael Hart. Come on, 335, please. 339 is still okay. 339 is perfect. We can play this mid minus 10 and sink it. No, TH, TH3, not a, not a very good club, McDilson. Unless your TH is 6, uh, you should always go with big, uh, with big topper. You don't have to topspin with uh, another TH. Because the topspin will give you much more distance than the increased um, distance of the T. Oh, come on, are we connecting trap here? Uh, come on. Guest 425360. Let's do this. Well, you have to try, for sure. I mean, that's the only way we can learn. We have to try and fail. I mean, so often, especially when I'm making the guides, I learn much more if I fail at something. 
I can at, at least point out the dangers, you know. If we never are in any of the dangers, you know, we, we won't be, we will be ob oblivious to them, you know, we will not be able to see them and spot them correctly. So lesser ball guideline here, so I'm gonna leave it short of the hole. 2.6, mid minus 10, two rings, exactly. Not with a great right, come on. Unless we get lucky. Uh, a little short as well. Perfect might have been in. Might have been in. But it's not, so it doesn't matter. Let's get the drop on uh, five. That's our go-to hole. That's the one we've now dropped consistently. Come on, let's do this. Let's get the birdie, move on. After this round, I'll have a short break and then I will finalize the guides, uh, switch out screenshots where I have to, uh, put in the info about um, Sniper 6, extra mile 5. And then we're good to go. Version 1 of the guide released after the stream. Welcome, Mick. How you doing? You're watching with your grandson, Callum. Welcome to the stream, Callum. How you doing? And how you doing, Mick? Sorry, didn't want to forget about you. Uh, Firefly 4, McDilson. That's what I play where I have uh, Rapier 3. So I go uh, Firefly 4. No, ma'am, and Jacksonian. That's uh, that's not happening uh, this tourney. Not happening next tourney. Uh, they will announce it if they ever decide to do it. He says, "Cool, but he's always good." Well, I'm glad to hear that, Mick. That's awesome. Okay, we'll forfeit this one. On to the next one, where we'll hopefully drop this uh, par 3 here. We are in need of an extra drop here. It is Akka Heron. You know, it's just for fun. I don't know if I'm going to play this afterwards in the opening round or the... Um... So now we know. We need to power 2 ball here. With our uh, X, uh, Sniper 6. Because of the two missing yards. So Sniper 7, we play Navigator. Sniper 6, we play Katana. Or any other power 2 ball you might have. Two back. Line it up at max here. Maybe just a little less than one or two back. Just the, uh, touching the right edge of the flag, stick max plus 10, 4.7 rings. Look at that, that's insane. Give me the hard win here for Acker. Come on, let's drop this. No. That's annoying. Stupid high wind. First time I did not drop this since uh, we found out the right adjustment. Annoying. Yeah, Mick. It's just because it's not a, as hot as any, anymore. Uh, it's cooled down a little. We had a huge thunderstorm during the night, which was nice. It was very, very welcome. And so I can have the lights on, I can have my hat on. Sweating a little, but not as bad as uh, last time around. Oof. That's turning out okay. Nice shot there. Never um, close to holding it, but okay. Let's get another drop here. 
on six. Let's go for the albatross this time. Uh, I will not add topspin. We gained just way too much distance on uh, on six. We were in mid distance of our sniper, which is no good. We need to be at max distance of our sniper so we can convert the three and a half topspin into the distance we need to reach the hole. If you have mid distance shot left, three and a half topspin will not be enough. If you have max distance sniper left, three and a half will be perfect. So if you're confused about uh, what I was saying with the distance, I actually explained that in my wind ring guide. And you can find that uh, on the downloads page on my website. Talking about the concept of top and backspin depending on distance. Come on, Nightbot. Did I use the wrong command? We gotta keep the same bag here, but we gotta switch to a Quasar. Is it the wrong command? Come on, Nightbot. Is it download, maybe? Always mix that up. I should use both. Program both commands, so... Um, just to avoid any doubt. Yes, Solis, that's right. I used Katana for the distance. Sniper 6. Sniper 5 and 6 don't have enough distance with a power 1 ball. If you have Sniper 7, you can use a Navigator. Come on. Let's get the drop here. I'm, go I'm not going to add anything. I'm going to go with one top and three right. Uh, two right, sorry. One top, two right. Because I just had too much distance. And I'd rather have to overpower my sniper than play it from mid-distance. Ideally, I'm not going to overpower anything. So I'm going to use... Uh, I don't need to, uh, you know, adjust for the wind or anything. We just need to line it up here with the yellow near the shadow. Ball guideline about a third down that uh, bush. Max overpower, max curl to the right and slice it. Yes, Solis uh, Katana with uh, Sniper 5. Okay, that's good. That's better. This should be a good distance here for the, uh, for the Sniper Rough Bump. Sniper 6 Rough Bump. Coming right up, guys. Coming right up for the Albatross. How sweet would that be? Getting the Albi with Acker. If you don't have a sniper with at least three and a half top spin, which will be snipers uh, five plus, is that it? No, 6 plus. Okay, we need the sniper 6. I'm gonna use uh, about one left spin here so we can line up a little further up here because we're not fully in max distance. And now max plus 10, 3.4 rings. So yeah, Sniper 6 is more difficult. Great ride. Annoying. So we do have the distance, but we're gonna miss to the right of the hole, obviously. Sniper 7 here is very welcome. If you don't have it, use uh, Horizon. Horizon will do. Let's go. Hole number seven. <sighs> what did we say? Uh, two and a half back we use. We need an extra two or three yards with our quarterback to get to the uh, distance we need for the sniper six. 
Very important I make a mental note of that and uh, say it out loud so when reviewing the stream later I can put that in the guide because that's something I easily forget. Because we want to get to around 245 when we have a Sniper 7 and I want to get to 247, 248 if we have a Sniper 6. Why? You'll see in a second. You'll see in a second and then we need to try something else here. I'm gonna uh, keep the Quasar. Hey Ola, welcome my friend. Thank you for the good luck Ola. So two and a half back, one right, max plus ten. Two and a half back instead of the three back. So I get these three extra yards. We line it up here. Exactly around here. That's where we want to line it up. Max plus ten, five point two rings. Nothing to it. Pretty easy. Hard to mess up drive. Nay. Impossible to mess up. As long as we don't slice it or anything or don't get disconnected you dropped it with the six and seven very nice danny i also dropped it with the six and i think i would have dropped uh, seven and i think i would have dropped it here with a perfect no way to be sure but uh, it looked pretty good it's definitely the way to go the rough bump with the sniper on six where we're gonna get our albies holes number hole number three i'm just gonna take uh, alby out of the equation we're not gonna see many of them and i'm not gonna play anything crazy to get that and um hole number nine we can make an alby but we require some luck hole number six i believe we have it dialed in with a perfect that is with a perfect Easy to replicate drive and um, pretty straightforward rough bump for the second. So it's a, it's an Albi we can get multiple times throughout the week, and that's the thing we want. Two to right, fall back here. Try to get the funnel here. line it up like this uh, left edge of the flag stick this time max plus 40 6.6 .6 rings 6.6 uh, .6 rings that's correct max plus 40 and uh, let's see if this is gonna be very close again It's also below the hole. Uh, I either miss, miss below the hole or I miss above the hole. I cannot really catch it the funnel the way I want to, so that requires some more tweaking. On to the next one. Let's just sink this. Oh my goodness. What did he do? He was in trouble. He was in the rough, wasn't he? Oh, we have to. We even have to chip it. That's the problem. When you're gonna miss the hole here, it's always gonna. Almost always gonna uh, drop off the. Uh, roll off the green. But it's an easy enough chip in for Birdie here. Welcome, Pradeep. How you doing? Thank you for the good luck. This is the last stream to count of the day. And then I'm um, gonna finalize the guides. Hole number seven definitely needs some um, tweaking. What time am I projecting the guides to be published? I'm not sure, Max, but probably within the next two hours. Gonna have a short break and then it really depends on how much I still have to change in the guides. But I have most, most of the stuff I have already is is good just need to you know 
switch around a few screenshots, put in the info for Extra Mile 5 and 6, uh, Sniper 6, and then we're good to go, I believe, for the first version anyway. I know, that's always the thing, first versions. So I won't have uh, the dialed-in shot for 7. Uh, well, it's going to be close always. Or we just have to revert back to the um, backbone rough bump. It can be done. Uh, no, we're going to keep uh, Quasar here as well. Forty next year, Emma. Come on, that makes you thirty-nine this year, Emma. And excuse the pun, but you're a spring chicken. <laughs> Sorry, that was too easy, right? <laughs> All right, let's uh, hold this one. Finally, come on, let's do this. Trickier with the extra mile uh, with the sniper six. Trickier with the sniper six. Your body tells you differently. <laughs> so uh, just a point two top ish, kind of like this. We'll adjust max plus 10, which will be 4.3 rings. Red near the bunker right there. Focus on the landing position. Our ball guideline is not helping much. And now we're just 4.3 rings here. Uh, let's see what this gives us with a perfect and the sniper six. It's just a little bit tougher with the sniper six That's hot and high No, good. That was not a good guess of the ball um, Not the best uh, try Well on to the last hole it'll be big topper and now I really ha think I'm thinking I cannot play. Um, can I play Horizon? I have a big topper three. Not sure. I'm gonna stick with the car Horizon. Just see how it goes. I can use. Uh, I can. I can get there to the yardage I need. Um, I still have. I just have to go full overpower. Let's go. Oh, unlucky there in the rough. Ugly. That's not the funnest of saves. Thank you, Max. Yes, please hit some thumbs up if you like. As you all know, haters go out of their way to give us a thumbs down. So while you're here, why not hit the thumbs up? <laughs> but I, you know, I relish those uh, thumbs down. So I will never turn that feature off you will always see the thumbs up and the thumbs down not afraid of that I was really surprised you know Graham turning that feature off for someone who says he doesn't care looks like he does there we go all number nine yeah, that's it. it is the way it is, Max. The way of the world. Nothing we can do about it. So why not just embrace it? So I believe I can make up the lack of distance here with full overpower. So we'll see. Oh, yeah, there's always more up, uh, Mick, for sure. And if, even if that weren't the case, you know, as long as you all in, as you are all in here, that's all that matters. <laughs> Welcome back, Robert. Mahomes haters. Why should you hate him? Oh, but there's always going to be hate guys hating him, you know. All right, we need to make up for the lack of yardage of our big top of three. Which means we can go full top spin here. Because we have what? One, two, three. We have two and a half rings. 
of room. No, we cannot go full overpower. I'm gonna push this up, which is a ring. I will not go full overpower. I'm gonna take it a little bit easier here. But this much overpower. Should do the trick, great left, not cool. But it's gonna be fine. Uh, I have even more room for overpower here. How far down are we gonna get? 410. All right, probably have to overpower our uh, horizon as well. All right, let's see. If we have to overpower our, our horizon, fine. We might get away with just, uh, with just pushing up. At least we have a horizon four here. Earlier we played this with a horizon two and honestly that was ugh, ugly. That was no fun playing that with a horizon two. So horizon three, I believe is uh, like the minimum we need. I'm gonna go with a seven top. And I need what here? I need only about two rings. So I'm gonna adjust uh, for the wind here, 1.4. And we're gonna push up into max, which is 1.5 almost. So I'm just gonna break the triangles here. That's all the overpower. I'm gonna use, and we get a great right, and that's gonna clip. Do we get the flyer? Oh, we get lucky. We don't get the flyer, and um, it's an easy eagle putt. Popped out that roared. Ha <laughs> ha, McDilson. Welcome to Swede. How you doing, my friend? So not the best round. Muji, welcome. I mean, this is not a good round, but uh, all the other rounds, 14 under, I'm very happy with that. 14 under, even with a par, uh, with a birdie on a par five. And this was just, you know, to try out some stuff with lower level clubs. And I think uh, even with the mistakes, 12 under is still, uh, still okay. Uh, Robert, yeah, 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 this ball pack, if you're gonna spend money, this one is the one to spend on. Those are balls that are gonna come in very handy at some point. Uh, I don't need them for this tourney, but I'm gonna stock up on them, you know, a little bit. It's one of the more useful balls. Oh, nice save. Well played. That was an excellent save. All right. Break. Work on the guides. Publish them. You should have them in the next two hours. Yes, Max, on this one. Hole number nine. Hole number nine, I play Zerks. Only on hole number nine. Going to forfeit this. Papi. Uh, good luck. 12 under, not what I was looking for, but it's okay. The blunder on three cost me here. Oh no, no, no blunder even. No, no, it's the par threes, the par threes here. Honestly, uh, hole number two and hole number five are must aces. Uh, we have them dialed in. We should at least, I mean, with this guide coming out, you should get 40, 15 under without any uh, problem, as long as you're perfect, you know. Always the catch, right? Always the catch. That is right, McDilson. If you don't have enough Zerks, save them for the weekend round. All right, that's it from me for today. So thank you so much for hanging out with me all day. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, and I'll keep working on the guides and get them to you as soon as possible. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for your support. Have a great day.
and I'll be back tomorrow with Pro Day. Thank you so much, take care and good luck, see you soon.